All right, so now we're going to talk about proofreading. Well, what is proofreading? This is when you go through your paper and you correct all of the typographical, grammatical, and sentence structure errors. This is different than revision. Revision is what you do when you go through your paper and you read it to make sure you said what you wanted to say as far as content. Once you've done that process, that's when you get into editing and that's where proofreading shows up. That's when you go from you know, looking at the big picture to going down to each individual sentence and making sure that it word wise says exactly what you want it to say. So how can you tell if you need to proofread? Um, you need to proofread always, every time, every single time, proofread. Um, there's, there's nothing that you're going to write where you're just going to be like, oh, I'll just write it. It doesn't matter unless you're texting a friend and you don't think that your friend will care. Otherwise, if it's a paper, you're proofreading it. Now, how can you proofread? First of all, take a break. If you just finished your paper, I don't care if the paper is due in 20 minutes, Take a break, get up from your computer, walk away, go outside, get a drink, go to the bathroom, whatever it is you need to do to take your eyes off of the screen. Because when you come back from break, you'll actually read what you wrote. Whereas if you just try to proofread right after you finished reading something or writing something, you will read what you think you wrote rather than what you actually wrote. Like your brain will just automatically put some words in there. So you have to take that break. Um, the longer the break, the better off you're going to be. But I understand sometimes life doesn't work that way. Another thing you can do is read out loud. Um, reading your words out loud to someone else is awesome because you can just watch their face and see if they start to look confused. That's usually a clue. Or just read it out loud to yourself. And if you hear it, normally you'll hear some of those errors. Or if you want to print out your paper, looking at it on, uh, you know, not on a computer screen with like a pen in your hand, sometimes that will help you to spot some errors as well. So those are your uh, proofreading options. What are some common issues? Well, we love spell check and grammar check. They do not catch everything though. For instance, this sentence right here would be perfectly fine. Grammar or spell check doesn't know what it is you meant to say. They were like, oh, I, I is a word, totally, I'm good. But really, you meant to say bears live in the woods. So it, they are not going to help you out with context. Or something like the stories, you know, this is supposed to be theme, is symbolized by the recurring references to butterflies. So it's not going to pick up on these types of errors. So you don't want to rely on, on the, the green and the, the red underlining too much. Also, another issue is that sometimes we forget to delete words or we just get delete crazy and we delete too many. So you end up with things like was read, right, rather than the time on the clock was. Or we skip words, right? If uh, we have this sentence here, they also need to learn something. I don't know. I probably had an idea here and I lost it. So you want to make sure that you are adding in the, uh, the rest of the sentence. And some final issues. Overall, we're going to have some homonyms. Those are words that sound alike, like there, there, and there, and sent, and sent, etc. So just make sure that you have the right word, the word that you mean. Or you might have an issue with comma splices or subject verb agreement. Now, I'm not going to talk about these here because we have two separate videos for both of those issues. So if you think that that might be part of your proofreading problem, go and watch those videos instead. Overall, when you are proofreading, pay attention to what you are doing, or you may definitely make some mistakes in your paper.